Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to our 11th video in our DNN 9 series. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about creating and packaging a module in DNN using Visual Studio 2017. Now we're running under the assumption that you have a local instance of DNN dev.me running. We also have the DNN project templates installed within Visual Studio 2017. Now you can go ahead and load Visual Studio 2017. When you do, you need to run it as an administrator. I'll show you how to do that. And then next we're gonna go through and create our MVC C Sharp module project. We'll switch into release mode and compile and build that project. That will actually create a package for our module, which we can then install via the extensions page in our DNN dev instance. Now, in the next video in our series, we'll go into a further in-depth overview of the MVC module, which we're going to create in this video. So let's go ahead and switch back over here to our local development environment. And I'll go ahead and right-click on the Visual Studio icon. I have it pinned to my taskbar. Now, I can also right-click on the, the next option here and run as the administrator. Or I can choose Properties. And in the Properties... I can go ahead and under advanced, choose or check the run as administrator option. That will set up Visual Studio 2017. So every time I start it via that shortcut, it will always start it as an administrator. Now you need to start it as an administrator due to the IIS access that this project template requires. So we've opened up Visual Studio 2017 for the first time. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose File, New, and choose Project. And at this point, we can go down into that .NET Nuke folder, which was created in our last video, series, video in the series when we installed the 2017 templates. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose that .NET Nuke folder, and I'm gonna choose the second to last template, which is the DAL2 MVC template. So that's the MVC module template that we're gonna to utilize to create our first project. Now, we're going to go ahead and call the module sample MVC. Now from there, we can go ahead and choose our location. Now the location is important in this process. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put it into the C websites dnndev.me slash desktop modules slash MVC folder. Now, if you're creating a template with any of the other templates except for the theme or the MVC template, you would put it into the desktop modules folder. But because we're creating an MVC module, we need to put it into a folder called MVC. If we were creating the theme, we would actually put it into a totally different set of folders. We'll talk about that in a future video in the series. But for now, we're going to put it into the websites dnndev.me desktop modules MVC folder. Now there's an option over here on the right that says create directory for solution. You need to uncheck that option. From here, we can go ahead and click OK. Now we're presented with a project setup wizard. Now this wizard allows you to come through and change the default namespace, the owner information, the owner email, website, and the local dev URL. So you can actually utilize these templates with a different URL rather than dnndev.me, but the templates do still assume that you're running a local instance of DNN. I'm not gonna make any changes here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. And my MVC module will get created here within Visual Studio 2017. Now that'll take a few moments. What we'll see once that completes is we'll actually see a documentation screen that gets loaded here. This documentation screen is just a folder it's actually an HTML file within a folder over in the solution on the right side. You can see that documentation folder. Now, in the future, you can go ahead and delete that. For now, I'm simply going to go ahead and close that particular, the two files that were open here in Visual Studio. Now, out of the box, we have a module here that's available to us. From here, we can go ahead and do a build. Now, I'm still in debug mode, so this build and compile is going to build out a debug version of this particular module. Based on these module templates, it will not create an installable package. That only occurs when you do a build or compile in release mode. So what I need to go ahead and do is go into the drop-down list here and change from debug to release mode. And now when I build my solution, what the project template is actually going to do is create 
a new folder within the MVC slash sample MVC folder in that desktop modules folder within DNN. There's a new folder inside of our, our project called install. Now it does not show up in the solution, but in Visual Studio, if we click on the show all files option, we can see that there's a new folder here called install. Within that folder, we now have a sample MVC 00.00.01 underscore install file. It's a zip file. We also have a, an underscore source version of that same project. So we just created an install and a source package for our module. Now we're not gonna get into the details of what else this particular project consists of in this video. We will in the next video in our series. But now what we wanna go ahead and do is we wanna go back over to our development environment. And I'm gonna go ahead and refresh that development environment. It's gonna take a moment for that first refresh to occur. We've just compiled new code in this module. And that new code's been put into the bin folder of the DNN website. So it takes a while for that new code to be recompiled and the website to reload. Once that occurs, however, we're gonna go ahead and log in as our host or our super user account. We need to do this so that we can install the extension. We can actually make it available and place it on a page within our DNN website. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with that host or super user account, which we created during the installation process of DNN. And we're gonna go into the persona bar, into the gear icon here. We're gonna choose the extensions option. Now the extensions is where we can manage all of the modules and extensions for our DNN site. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and choose the install extension option. From here, we can go ahead and choose a file to upload. Now I'm gonna navigate into that C websites, dnndev.me, desktop modules, MVC, and then sample MVC folder. So this is where we created our project in Visual Studio. We can see that install folder here. And now what we'll see is we have the install and the source package. Now we're gonna go ahead and install either one of these. I always just do the install package. What we're gonna do is we're uploading those files into DNN. DNN is going to extract those files and walk us through the installation process for this module. So you can get some of the details for our module. We'll go ahead and click on next. We get release notes. There's a sample release notes file that is in the, uh, in the solution. Go ahead and click on next. We get our license, There's a sample license file in the solution as well. We need to accept that license and go ahead and click on next. DNN will complete the installation. And at the bottom, we can see end job installation successful. So we have now created, compiled, packaged, and installed a new DNN module. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this extensions menu. And let's go ahead and reload the site here. We can see now that we've installed the module again, we've just replaced the code or the DLL in the bin folder. So the site's gonna take a moment to recycle. But now if we go to the edit menu on the page, And at the bottom of the toolbar there, we can add a new module. If we want, we can either scroll down or we could type into the search filter and type M, uh, sample MVC. We now have a sample MVC module, which we can go ahead, click on the plus, and that will give us the ability to drop that module onto a page. Now at this point, there's no items defined within that module. We'll go into a further in-depth overview of that module in the next video in our series. This is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Thanks for watching the video.